Me and Brittany are business partners, nigga. Snitched on you think I'm about to disrespect her for some of you lame ass niggas? Fuck that. It ain't about disrespecting her. Are you going to question her? Are you going to challenge her? No, you won't even do that. Nigga, I gave her my agent, nigga. She's working with my people. Like, so, so now you're proving everything to Rolly Tomasi's point, but you're emotional, so you don't even know that you're speaking against yourself right now in this debate. What's good? What's good? Your boy Beck. It's your boy Beanie, aka Emerald Thoughts, aka Fat Hoes and High Winds back in this time, man. We got another reaction video. Hopefully, this one get taken down. We're doing another act video, so I'm going to try to not to put up the um the visuals and just get a little bit of the audio and see if that works. If not, I might have to try to do it again or whatnot. Act being a hoe, because I mean, YouTube, bro, like <laughs> we, we share content. We react to other people's content. That's just a part of YouTube game. But hey, if he take it down, he take it down. I ain't tripping. But, um, we react to the ad go off on Rollo Tomasi. Uh, if you've watched any of my reaction channels, uh, reaction videos, you've seen that I've uh, done a few of Rollo Tomasi videos just because it deals with the red pill and relationship problems. But to me, um, in this video, Act comes back at him for the allegations of him saying that that he don't have fresh and fish best interests, which I think I could agree with. Um, and it's a few things that kind of will highlight that, even though um, Act say he. Uh, it, even though X says he, he would never do that, he contradicts himself a, a, a bunch of times in showing that he does have that type of character in him to do that. Another thing I've noticed while, while watching this reaction is he, he did the Kevin Samuels uh, when he talked about fem, uh, females and how they, the uh, shame, guilt, insults, and need to be right. Um, we, usually, uh, we usually give those attributes to women, but... Uh, we'll see Act do the same thing in his emotional rant, and and the one that he ch uses the most is shame. He shames his numbers. He shames like how his setup is. He shames a bunch of different things that really has nothing to do with the actual message or the actual point that uh, Rollo Tomasi was trying to get across. So um, that's usually how people deflate and. Uh, Try to win little petty and kid arguments to try to win the crowd over, but hey, bro, um, I think it was a little tasteless. But let's get into it, man. I ain't gonna hold y'all out. I, I start. You a bum? You a fifty-five-year-old bum who just sit there who think oh, you some Godfather? Up. You wrote some shitty book, and you think, niggas, you control shit. No, you fucking dummy. How your young bulls pass you? I make sure my young bulls, I keep my foot on their necks. Um, first of all, and there's nothing wrong with keeping your foot on your neck. Um, but your mentee will always pass up the That's just a part of the game. No mentor can stand to support basketball, whatever. There's always going to be a time that you have to pass the tour. That's a stupid argument. Any young boy ever had, I put my foot on their necks. You taught them niggas three lessons in karate and they whipped your ass already. Get the fuck on out of here. You a bum. You talking about. And for me, like, I think academics is being like, uh, I don't know if the word is capricious or just, just arrogant to call someone a bum because you don't like, you, know, you can you really shit on this book or whatever. Right? I don't know his book number. Then you shit on his, basically his channel. I mean, to me and to the average person that's a YouTuber, 14K is nothing to stuff at, to snuff at. Let's go to roll on some ice. Bro, I, 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 my channel is a bum channel. We want to call niggas channel like Rollo Tomasi a bum channel, bro. I, I, I just don't like that. <laughs> I don't, 150K. Uh, so he got 150K, and on average, you can see sometimes he, he'll pull more than his actual um, subscriber count, or at least half of that. Most people, your subscriber count, they'll get like 20, 30% of that um, to actually watch their videos. 
159 44 57 49 185 like these are not numbers to stuff at these are not numbers in the 10k 11 like bro this nigga's getting numbers like i don't get how we could call this nigga a bum channel i think that's just an emotional rant that don't make sense yeah fresh and fit gets 100k but let's be real they bring a level of toxicity to their channel that makes them get that if they were just doing the straight technical straight breaking down things approach then yes they would not get as many views but the fact they bring on women they bring on these arguments they bring on these discussions that constantly hits uh the mainstream or uh, social media networks of course they're gonna on, on average have higher um a higher uh view count just off that alone but uh some people might not want to do that some people might not want to engage with people and argue points that they know is right against people that have no idea what they're talking about some people that's not a, it's a turn off to them it, it like for some people the value or their their mental integrity is way more important than views and money so they're okay with getting 24 like 24k 69k <laughs> that's crazy that's a lot of fucking views bro like i would say he's the top echelons of youtube creators it, it, when we talk about 20 percent of males are, are attractive to women and there's like one or 10 percent of males that's over like 100k like nigga when it comes to youtube demographics this nigga has to be in a high percentage of viewerships and and, and making money on here that's crazy to me let's keep going i'm like you're still a teacher they not listen to you no more you know why Cause they see the they see the bright lights. You know what the bright lights is? It's the bright lights of stardom. It's the bright lights of the podcast world, which has opened up beyond the manosphere. Because you don't go viral, nigga, for all the shit. That's crazy to me. Cause the manosphere has literally um, produced multiple people that's gone viral in general. So like to me, academics is being um, he's downplaying the the manosphere market. This how how Derek Jackson could make a name for itself, like, and and get viral and constantly have conversations talked about. Like, I don't know what more mainstream you need to be. Like, you want to be syndicated? Is that what you're thinking? Like, that's the next goal or some shit? But these niggas are mainstream. Like, Fresh and Fit is mainstream. Manosphere is mainstream. There's literally a debate and conversation surrounding it every every day. Relationships are talked about. Uh, probably if we talk about social media relationships or, or or man and female shit or natures or talked about probably 30 percent of conversations that go on uh, on social media probably more than that so to say manosphere is not a big demographic is not mainstream i think that's kind of crazy especially when you talk about the average man being sexless the average man or not sexless or not not being happy with their their relationship uh results that's a high fucking number. I don't know how, like, what more demographic you need more than the the, the average man, because I mean that's the the average man is the majority. If if we if we being honest, like I'm so confused, and, and that's what they appeal to. So this mainstream media, you're never going to be able to touch everybody. There's women shit that they talk about on their gossip shows that will never be able to trans uh, uh transform and transmute their message to make men want to digest it. There's some sports conversations that you will never be able to get women to be bought into because that's just not their shit on, on a, a majority level. This is like you're never going to be able to grab every demographic. And if that's his argument, who gives a fuck? And I think X uh, idea of mainstream is black women. And those like blogs and shit like that. I think that's X idea of mainstream. Yeah, you got a big, powerful demographic backing you, but... Let's be real. The the manosphere got almost every culture of men in it. That's that's especially in the Western societies. I don't know. That's just weird to me. But let's keep going. You done talked. You ain't went viral one time to to the point that I had them go viral with the Britney Renner shit. You ain't did it once in your. Who cares? He's still making money. He's still a successful man. That's not everyone's goal to go viral. Act. You sound thirsty. Life. You just sitting there talking to niggas. Go focus on your wife, nigga, little nigga. You just running your mouth. He's just running his mouth, but he gets like a shitload of views. That's weird to me. Them boys, I don't, they might have looked up to he's you. He's just running his mouth, but somehow he's talking to a market and a culture that's that's like booming right now and, and resonating with him. Like you're just talking like he he says a lot of dismissive things to 
the manosphere in general, which I think is crazy because that's fresh and fit main demographic. But he shits on them ever, not even subtly. He just shits on them, and it's like I don't think that's the like for me. If I'm looking at fresh and fit, like I'm like, bro, why? Like, so you gonna shit on my fan base that's got me millions? And, like that's crazy to me. But if you want to give them advice, don't say I can snake. I'm not no snake. I will never. He didn't say you a snake, but he's saying some things that he started to notice that seems to be snake behavior. And there's some things that I've noticed as well. When that white girl, when uh, Fresh got in trouble with that white girl and everybody was on his head about that shit, Ak brought a lot of those questions up in, in, into, um, into the air. Ak came on to their channel and questioned them. Or came on to they, uh, they platform and questioned them or, and him about the looks of this white girl. And then that brought a little heat to their channel. Ever since I got there, I ain't gonna lie to you. Since Akin got there, they've been they've went viral more for being getting talked about than going viral for being known and making their points and shit like that. Cause they've been on TikTok, they've been making getting views for the shit that they speak on. But the last three months where I kind of got around that white girl with the on the yacht, that was a thing. Brittany Renner, and then um, it was one other thing. It was one other thing that I, if I'm not mistaken, but um, yeah it. it it's, it's some questionable things. I'm not going to say just off of those two things alone. I'm going to say you don't have their best interest, but you already don't have the best interest in the manosphere. I can see that for a fact throughout this rant that you've had. I already kind of clicked through this and watched it, so it's not my first time watching it. I'm going to try to get some of the points of that, that made me get to this assumption, but let's keep moving. Take it that from a bitch exactly nigga like you. At. Tell them, stop chasing the mainstream. If you want to go anywhere where the shade room is going to be at TMZ, that's mainstream. They is it mainstream, though? Because, I mean, women digest that, but most men don't watch that shit. Most men don't watch TMZ. Most men are not subscribed or watch, uh, or to the shade room. So it's mainstream for women and toxic shit, but that's not mainstream in general. That's why I don't get his idea of mainstream. Because even with... The idea of going viral. Kevin Hart is mainstream. I mean, not Kevin Hart. Kevin Samuel is mainstream. And he talk about Kevin Samuel's uh, tapering off and shouldn't be able to get any bigger. But to me, that don't make any sense because Kevin Samuel is always able to get into social media uh, to those to to get onto those platforms he just mentioned. They constantly talking about him. So I don't get how these these comparisons or these ideas and assumptions of, uh, are are coming across his mind in the sense of manosphere is not a, a good enough market or a lucrative of enough market. That's weird to me, especially when it's only been about two or three years of the uh, the red pill uh, coming on. Let's think about the feminist movement. The femi feminist movement and surge of femininity and the, the toxic femininity, if you ask me, has been around for about 40, 50 years. And we see it still kind of got a, a, a lot of fire. We can see it's dying out, but I think that's a lot to do with the red pill. So let's say the red pill community gets to go on a 40, uh, 30, 40 year run, just like feminists did. And we could see how big it sparked up just in these first two years that it's possible, that it, it resonates with people, that, that that's something that can, that that's something that could keep being pushed forward. Because you even see so many people speak against it because they know how productive it is for, or, or how, um, they know how powerful that message is because of how many people resonated with it. That's why you get so many people trying to speak up against it and denounce it. I don't, I don't, like I said, when it comes to act, he thinks he knows it all when it comes to everything with YouTube and YouTube analytics. But to me, like, this is one trend that you're missing. The red, the red pill, the manosphere trend is going crazy right now. And it's just the beginning to try to like start putting caps on where it's going to end and stuff like this. You have no idea. You have, you truly, I don't have an idea. It could taper off, but let's be real. You don't have any sustainable proof that it is going to taper off anytime soon. They will never be accepting of that argument of how y'all are giving it up. I like your argument. But who gives a fuck? There's so many women's talk shows and shit that don't change how they speak. And they, they know they're not going to ever get across the men. So I don't get that. Like, it, that people only try to make certain points and be like, if we can't touch everybody, it's invalid. That Every message is not going to be able to resonate with everybody's heart. Like, that's just life. So, Act already shows a little bit of lack of wisdom and how if he's going to try to guide people into success and stardom, he, he's going to tell you to change. He's going to tell you to start acting out of character because he wants you to fit in with everything else, which is not the reason that you're making it. The literally reason that Fresh and Fit and Kevin Samuels making it is because they're 
um the 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 thorn they're the thorn in people's side now you saying hey as that thorn start being as sharp stop being as sharp as a thorn and you're not effective anymore you no longer you no longer feeling the role that you were meant to do or the role that you was uh making money off of and, and was popping off of act think he know everything he gonna lead you down a fucking uh off a fucking bridge like, come on, you're going to lose your fan base because that the fan base you built on being a needle and you never really going to resonate with them other people you was trying to uh, get to understand your message because they never cared in the first place. Like, come on, like what? That don't make no sense, act. But when, when I watch the Fresh and Fit, they say, listen with your headphones in. You know why? Because they know if you if, if it's a bunch of shade room people, they're not going to fuck with it. So if but that's not a, a a credible enough statement to be like I should change because shade room don't fuck with me. What y'all gonna go into some situations where? Let's let's skip ahead a little bit. Is what they do. I love it here. Hopefully, you have an audience who can rock with you. Bitch ass nigga man. Bum ass nigga man. And that's the thing too like ag has no idea about my Tyler peterson like ag has no idea about some of these conversations that go on outside of the black community if he keeps booking people like michael peterson and debating them live bro that's just gonna keep going crazy like i don't understand like there's many people that that you have no idea <laughs> on who they could bring in and make their channel spark like that's just you're just not in touch and it, it's, it's screaming out right now. Instead, like, and by the way, this ain't not fresh and fit because this is my this is my homies. But for you bitch ass niggas who gonna speak on it, y'all gonna really have to speak on what it really is. Nigga, I'm the one who, yo, yo, we talked to Kodak. We said Kodak, yo, you know they allowed us to use the studio. Could you could just hang out for the, for the episode, whatever. They had girls coming right away, bro. Without me, that don't happen, my nigga. How am I? These niggas have seven women on a show every five days. Nigga, we're not trying to hear about you helping them women on it. He even tried to take credit for them being able to go mainstream. Like, no, nigga, these niggas was going viral way before you got here. You started to notice their climb and their their rise, and you hopped on a bandwagon. But don't act like you were the reason that they they like blew up even more. Like he tried to take credit for, oh, I got them on, um, I got them on, um. Andrew Show Show, uh, Flagrant 2. It's like, bro, they were big enough to get on that show. They just used you because they know you had to connect. But they could get to that show because the, the show wouldn't even have had them on if they wasn't a big enough pool. So you you were just a middleman, but that don't mean like that couldn't have happened regardless without you. Like they could have got someone else to figure out to, to get that uh, plug across. Like, come on, bro. Like they could have reached out somehow and got that across. Like, come on, bro. There's nothing that Fresh and Fit has that I want. I don't think no one's saying that, but I think, actually, that's a lie. That's a lie. Because you wouldn't align yourself or even fuck with them if they didn't have clout. So that's a lie. That's a flat-out lie. They have, they have a rise, and they have a polarity that you're using. Even this, is, this helps you get more topics. This helps, like, bro, that's a lie. That's a straight-up lie. They don't nothing. have nothing I want. If that's the case, you would not be fucking with them. Like, let's be real. Like, you didn't see them guys and be like, I want to be friends with them. And even then, that makes that a lie. Like, come on, bro. You're contradicting yourself. If anything, I would like to help them. You know why? Because when I see like-minded, well, I wouldn't say like-minded, but when I see people who are building their own individual empires, and I love about this new... new you said it first. If they're building an empire, that means they are they they if you, if you even have the potential to build an empire, you know how rare that is. You just gave them a credit for something that now you're trying to be like, oh, they were never gonna go mainstream. Well, if you could build an empire without going mainstream and without your help, then I mean, who the fuck the mainstream. Nigga, she looks at me like a nigga like, yo, nobody knows content like Ack. So if I call Brittany, I said, Brittany, I think it'll be dope if we have you and Myron debate Britney Renner. I'll be the media just like I did with 6ix9ine and Wack. And and he was like, oh shit. He's like, yo, will she come? I said, nigga, will she come? I said, Britney, Britney fucks with me. Nigga, she looks at me like a nigga like, yo, 
Nobody knows content like Ak. No, she looks at you like a walking bag. What? <laughs> so if I call Brittany, I said, Brittany, let's do this. Brittany's like, all right, yo, Ak, if you think this is, let's do it. All right, cool. So now I'm telling Fresh, I'm like, you want to, like, is this cool? He's like, yeah, he's like, oh, this is going to be lit. I said, I bet. Uh, I, I, I was like, yo, tell Myron. He said, no, 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 no. He said, he said, no, actually, yeah. He said, should I, should I tell Myron? I said, what you mean? I said, of course. That's your teammate, whatever. He says, bro, don't tell Myron because Myron, I know him. He might not do it. I'm like, why not? He's like, uh, because Brittany didn't do her sh their show before. I don't know what the fuck you was talking about. But he was like, yo, don't say nothing to Myron. You know Myron better than me. I want to tell y'all. If you don't want to tell your man, that's you. But I want to tell y'all. I'm not trying to set nobody up. <laughs> like, like niggas, when niggas start saying, well, I don't, I don't think that was much of a setup. I, cause, um, Fresh admitted to not telling him. I think the the people, the well, reason why we call this a setup is how you clip the video. And not even a setup in that aspect, the reason you don't have their best interest. Because if you had their best interest, you would have never put that clip out with Brittany Renner making a bullshit argument and really didn't get on their ass. But you know, because you know content and you know how people are easily gullible to uh, take a 30 second clip and run with it. You put that shit out knowing that Shade Ring will put that out. Knowing that black women are, are, are grab onto that and simp men will grab onto that and make it blow up. We know, bro, just like you know content, we know content as well. And nigga, we, everyone can see clear as day that was the, the move you was trying to make. Let's just be real. Where it's like setting up and snake. Rolo, you a bitch, niggas. Don't be talking about me like that, nigga. What makes him a bitch, though? Just saying someone's a bitch, I don't understand what makes him a bitch because they don't have a lot of views. They don't have more views than you, so like, it, it, like, it's big bank tight, little bank. So anything he says is invalid because he just because you don't have more views, just because you don't have more views. I don't get what makes him a bitch for him, like possibly calling out things in, in your character that should be questioned. Like, act. Let's be real. Ever since you got in this industry, niggas have questioned your integrity and, and character. So don't act like this is a new argument towards towards you. Like I've never had a problem with you because I know you're doing you. But let's be real. I'm trying to figure out what, what makes this man a bitch, though. Like, that's so weird to me. Fuck is he talking he about, you, you out? goofy? Like, everyone calls you out. Tell me I'm over here setting niggas up. Let me see if I can find this shit. Man, I can't even. When was this shit? Ak is uh being like super literal in that argument right now. That's how I know he he knows yo. <laughs> He's being super literal, like setting him up. Like no, I ain't do that. Like bro, come on, bro. You know you did things that wasn't in their best interest, and that's what we when we say set up, we say it loosely. But it, you're trying to make it seem like oh you you intentionally set them up to get hold. Like no, but you knew how polarizing it could get. You was like oh can I find a clip where she's like bro come on bro we know the game and how this shit works bro is there any clip on here that can go viral especially from Brendan Renner's side and even then when let's be real I know it was two on one but Fresh really wasn't even talking like that when they on a uh, Brendan Renner shit but nigga as a media uh, a mediator in that interview you was trying to explain her side more than you ever tried to explain they side to her. You, you, you'll, you'll look at them and be like, I think she's trying to say this, but you'll never turn to them and be like, well, I, I, I hear, I hear what they're saying. I hear how you misunderstand them. This is what they're really trying to say. You didn't do that. So even from your body language alone, it seemed like you were on her side and were trying to defend her for whatever reason. Cause you know that you rather be aligned to Brittany Renner's side because like you, you, for some reason you resonate and you, you, well, see, I guess your fan base in your eyes is the, the black women in a sense. Cause like you said, Shade Room and, and, and the other shit, um, uh, TMZ, like that's gossip shit. Oh yeah. I warned him. I warned him about academics. Bitch. Fuck is you talking about? I want to find this. I want to find this one thing where he was like, he, he basically said, fuck red pill, fuck blue pill. I'm here for money. It's about business. If I can find that, uh, Listen to this whole ass I'm a, thing I'm right here. With that not, in mind, I also need to add one bugs. more caveat to today's show. Uh, honestly, I think DJ Academics it does not have Myron and Fresh's best interests in mind. Whole ass nigga, let me just tell you this right now. I and he didn't say I think. He didn't say I know. He said I think. So you can honestly say that Ak is overreacting, and that would also could be a sign of him being guilty. Don't I don't plan nothing for them niggas. If them niggas, yo, yo, honestly, 
if you ask me, I don't think Fresh and Fit should be having rappers on. Like, I don't think it helps their views. I say that to them in their face. I don't think when viral moments bubble up with rappers, it helps them because their message isn't mainstream. I don't think. But that's a, so that's bad information because regardless of if it's um, likable or digestible, if it's going because it's polarizing, whether people like it or not, that's good for your channel. So that's bad advice. It's good at all. But if they ask me for help, nigga, I'm not nobody daddy. They ain't come out of my balls. Yo, act. Yo, could you try to get 6 9 on here? All right, I'll try. Y'all my mans. Because when I come down there, and if I say, yo, can I use that studio? Y'all be like, yo, act, of course. They never say no. They never like, yo, act, I don't think. No. So when they ask something, I'm going to say, of course. Now, I just don't think rappers go well with their shit. Especially female rappers. I told Fresh that, though. I, I, I don't understand. If it, it goes mainstream and they get disliked, See, he that's what makes you understand how act like discredits anything his their fan bases say or the people that's backing them say he only validates and only feels that the women on that side wins. So if you go against black women or a black rapper and so it, it so be that it gets polarizing again and all these women are talking shit. There's always another group of men talking shit about <laughs> the, the, the woman. Like, but you don't see that side of things. You only see the women shitting on them. I guess that's that, like, I don't, for some reason, I guess that's more valid to people. But if you go through these comments, even people was agreeing with Fresh and Fit. Like, I don't, like, whether it's polarizing or not, like, I, I, don't, I don't understand, like, there's always going to people be people that agree with fresh and fit at a, at a good rate. So yeah, the people that may be the loudest are, I think, I, I think that's what people think. Like, that's why they're winning, but they never lose support. And a lot of times they get more silent followers because they'll see this argument that most people, they, they know that these black women or this, uh, these black people are more louder than us. So I'm not going to speak against it, but I do like what they were saying. So they still get more followers. And then there are the people that's going to debate forever in the comments. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. It goes both ways. I don't want, like, I, they're making it seem like this the uh, this black women thing is just so dominant when it comes to media that if you go against it, you're going to lose. Like, that's 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 not true. I know this was set up by DJ Academics because he's been on. Hey, fuck, nigga. I okay, need he said I know right here. Since okay, you be like, like, like you're right a man of sphere, y'all all about facts. That was not facts, nigga. I ain't set that shit up at all, nigga. And as I said, when niggas start speaking facts, I speak the ultimate. It's three way, whatever. The, I say, yo, y'all talk. Andrew is. I'm not so caught up on a setup of uh, them not knowing Brittany Renner was there. I'm talking about the video and that not being in their best interest. And then you also saying more shit about not caring about the menace. That's what I'm. When he got with Brittany Renner, bunch of smiles. Kevin, you want to do an episode for your shit? Cause I know like you out here need some episodes. I say, yeah, you know, yeah, let me do it. Now the episode turned out great. Andrew T, I love that guy. Nigga said Rolo was kind of right and you were simping for Britney. Rolo's a bitch. Cut that simping for Britney shit, nigga. I'm doing business. Here we go. Here we go. I think this is it. This is the rant. What I'll start here, when everybody, any, not every time, but a lot of times when somebody say this is business, they're using that as an excuse to justify their behavior. Usually they're their negative behavior. Let's These go. things, y'all could suck and swallow that red pill, blue pill, and black pill. Completely just disrespect the fresh and fit market. Completely just disrespected a huge demographic of people. And you don't, so, so, act. let me ask you this question. That's not digestible to the black and red pill. Why, why are you saying that? What, shouldn't you be smarter and be more digestible for everyone? No, you don't give a fuck about what they got to say, though. Only time you make that statement is even the benefit of black women or uh, that that the, the the pandering to black women uh, media type shit, and that's why people say you simping for Britney Renner because it's not really Britney Renner; she's just the example. You're simping for black women and their views and their 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 like their their ability to like you in a sense or want to like you. But at the end of the day, even your chat is mostly men, <laughs> so I don't even get why that's his like. I don't get why that's his angle on you have to be on. Um, TMZ or or uh, whatever the fuck I don't I, I keep forgetting the name of the shit because I never Shade Room I never watched that shit I never I've never in my life 
have been subscribed to those channels since twitter's been a thing since instagram's been a thing never and i guarantee you it's a huge demographic of men that's never been in that but i think act that's where he comes from he comes from that type of media um so that that's that's what he sees the most that's his echo chamber but outside of that like the manosphere like bro we deep as hell and i don't get what makes you think that oh just because just because like the shade room is this official site they have more power than the red pill overall when you take all the powerful red pill dudes come on bro they form this like a uh, boat and i'm be, you could call that cheesy but let's be real take kevin samus take rollo take fresh and fit take uh mediocre tutorials take o'shea uh johnson or o'shea uh jackson or whatever his name is it, 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 uh, it's so many of them you add all those together bro like come on bro come on bro like there's a big demographic of men they have millions of followers and they get hundreds of k views every video and they drop two three times a week some o'shea drop five times a week fresh and fit drop five times a week so i, I don't get like why are you like dismissing the the potential huge demographic that's over there just because i guess it's comfortable and something that you're used to that's the only reason i could think of why you can be so dismissive of red pill black pill blue pill let's go back though i cut him off he said fuck he said it and that alone should show me like hey fresh and fit this nigga is risky to your your main fan base and to the reason that you've even made and carved out a niche into this society is speaking the truth now he wants you to water down the truth essentially they he wants you to water down the truth so it could be more digestible what we, what don't we get that what, what we do that with chemicals dilute it so it, it it's it's more usable because if you, if you if you keep it at the pure form it could be poison or it could be harmful just by touching it or smelling it you got to dilute it with water we got we do that with soaps and so many other things that's what he wants you to do that he wants you to lose your po your potency so you can be more effective and what he calls more effective more reachable but then that also be, <laughs> that also leads you to be more vulnerable because you're not who you really are anymore what grounds are you really standing on but let's go Fresh money let's go back me and brilliant are business partners nigga so you have a vested interest to keep her because if you're business partners with her that means you have no vested in, if you put anything that makes her look bad that can affect your business so wouldn't that say that you should watch out if you if you're going to have a debate, he literally just contradicted himself. If you're going to have a debate with Brittany Renner, it'll be in my best interest to back her than to back you. That alone shows you that you don't have their best interests. Because you're not business partners with them. You're just friends with them. But it's business, and business is going to always be more important to act. Nigga said himself. Rolo was kind of right, and you were simping for Brittany. Rolo is a bitch. Cut that simping for Brittany shit, nigga. I'm doing All he could do is shame. All he can do is shame. That's the only that's the only point he had. And that's the most feminine way of debating ever. Is this? These niggas, y'all could suck and swallow that red pill, blue pill, and black pill. What I'm doing is hard cold cash money. Once again, he don't have any loyalties to red pill, blue pill, or anything. Because what he's about is cash hard dollars so even for this season if he's cool with you fresh and fit best believe if he sees a more lucrative demographic to back he will and guess what he already does that's black women he's already told you who he thinks is more valuable not your fan base he, he thinks very little of them so he already said it his ally is money and money only. Brittany Renner leads the bigger bus. Why? Because she's going more viral. Why? Because she's just a toxicity to the society. And whenever she opens her mouth, it has it it, it 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 resonates with this toxic ass society. It's not the truth. She's not spewing the truth. Act is not a business partner with her because she's spewing the truth. So we already show you, act will push degenerative behavior if money dictates it. Because red pill, blue pill, you can't say it's complete truth, but at least it's trying to present the truth. Me and Brittany are business partners, nigga. Snitched on you think right I'm about to disrespect her for some of you lame ass niggas? Fuck that. It ain't about disrespecting her. Are you going to question her? 
Are you going to challenge her? No, you won't even do that. Nigga, I gave her my agent, nigga. She's working with my people. Like, so, so every, now you're proving everything to Rolly Tomasi's point, but you're emotional, so you don't even know that you're speaking against yourself right now in this debate. You have a vested interest. In, in the business world, they call that, um, what do they call that? When you when you have an interest and, and your 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 interest or whatever uh, your connections are, are fuck, there's literally a word for that type of behavior and it's looked down upon when people do that. When Britney signed her podcast deal, is gonna be on the my shit. Fuck is you niggas talking about? When she he's snitching on his. I didn't even hear this before. He, when she signs a podcast deal, it's gonna be under him. So he has no vested interest in making her look bad, but he has all the interest in bringing on other people and pitting her against them and helping her get more clout. Most likely by making her seem like she won that debate, even though she didn't. That's the, and that's why we realizing your tactics and why you clipped that. You clipped it like that to get her more clout to make it seem like she won the, the fight or the debate. Like, come on, bro. Like, we not stupid. Ain't no simping going on. It's bigger than this shit, nigga. It's business. Everybody, all everybody who Britney sat with, begging her, yo, Britney, yo, you should fuck with us. You know what she said? Ain't none of y'all got the audience and got the reach and got the, the real shit that I got. And uh, integrity? They, they have integrity? And they're not gonna let you just spew whatever the fuck that they want on your on their channels, most likely. So that that won't that will lead to you being less viral, likely. Versus he promotes your toxicity, so at least you be more viral, and you like that. She's using you, act. I mean, you are using her too, but <laughs> y'all using each other. But let's not make it seem like that toxic behavior that y'all have got going on, like you, you and you just moving so chest like. That no one else can see your moves. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. You have a vested interest in making sure that she stays in a good light inside of the uh, media world. Of course, you're going to back her. Of course, you're not going to talk shit. Of course, you're not going to uh, speak uh, ill against her name. Your money's behind her. I said, come over here. Let me let me walk into a few buildings. I'm doing business. That you think Brittany want to be a bum ass nigga with two guitars behind her like this bum ass nigga with nothing? See, the problem with that is, which is this is a bullshit argument, she can do that. She she needs the extra bells and whistles because he comes for one reason, to bring the truth. And his viewers come for one reason, the truth. That's all he needs. He don't need flair. Whack-ass debate he just made. He got two good talk. He don't need flair. People that need antics, people that need all that flair, like someone... Like Brittany Renner, she's going to need all the bells and whistles on her podcast. Why? Because she don't have anything that's long lasting like the truth. She has gossip. She has toxicity. And that, that's going to last a while. But that, that has a, the cap has no truth. I mean, the truth has no cap. That, all that toxic shit, that only so, it only so big you can get. It's only so big you can get. So it, it's funny how he could talk about Kevin Samuels and Rolo and Fresh and Fit if they stay doing the same thing they got. It, it, actually, the one that has the most likely cap is the one you decide to do business with. And that, sense, go back to the sim word, seems to be sim behavior. Because I think most people will look at that and be like, yeah, you're right. These niggas Fresh and Fit create content on the day-to-day -day basis and are proven this nigga makes content. Rolo Tomasi creates content on a day-to-day -day basis and has been proven to be successful. It's, it'll be smarter to be business partners with them, something that's proven, versus Brittany Renner that has a hit there, hit there, or a, a, a hit every once in a while. She go viral every three months, but she's not doing anything in between. She's not proven yet. And then you got to think, when she goes viral, she usually synonymous synonymous with uh, and going on someone's show that's also big she's not going on small channels and getting huge numbers 
she's going on other big channels and getting huge numbers so it's like she needs she still needs help and that's why she's aligning with someone like act because nigga if you're not on that podcast with her on the daily like a joe budden and, and how you and joe budden did on everyday struggle that shit's not gonna pop my brother if it's just her on there that shit not gonna pop you gonna have to be there and even then come on bro that's she don't have the same energy as joe joe is way more of a three minute three dimensional thinker than she will ever be she just go on emotional tirades and that shit gets old a at least joe button emotional tirades or or tied to logic and truth uh, at least of what he believed her emotional tirades is just her trying to defend her negative behavior <laughs> like it's not the same <laughs> come on bro but uh I, I mean, I just want to see if you got anything else to say about the business aspect of things. Ain't nothing about simping because we ain't try to fuck. We ain't try to. We ain't on that with each other. Y'all can think what y'all want to think. You're not I'm, simping because you're trying to fuck. You're simping and pandering because you want money. That's you, you're doing. The, well, Derek Jackson was Derek. Derek Jackson is far from a simp in his actual life. If you see what he is, he's pretty much the leader in his relationship. When his woman came out, she was right by his side, being submissive and obeying to what he said. So in his real life, he may not be a simp, but the image and the uh, thing he's portrayed, portrays the social is very simpish and very panderish. That's why he gets called a simp. Not because his actual life and who he wants to fuck and how they try to fuck him. No, it's his message. His message is simpish. It's his actions and how he moves in business is simpish. That's what we saying about you too. I'm doing business. I try to do oh, business with hold other- on, Hold on, on the full screen. Niggas ain't chicks oh, one chick though. she was getting a fucking bukkake by adam 22 that's why she's done so i clowned her chromas you for the streets the other one this is trees but this one this one and who knows maybe i get burned but for what i'm putting in he even know it's a possibility that he gets burned the thing is he for Ag, I will hope you're smart enough to be able to use her way more than she can use you. But the problem with this is, uh, you're going to get burnt. No, no, no. I'm thinking about the logic because there's always, you boil shit down, you'll always get the truth. The reason that you will get hold and she won't is because you're the bigger thing. You're the bigger entity. You have all the shit to risk for someone that's not proven yet. For someone that's just clickbait right now. So, yeah. She has all the gangs to win by merging her business and her ideals with you because you're huge already. You're DJ Academics. Like when we talk about Drake, when he like, I'm not arguing. I, I can't keep going back and forth with Pusha T because that only makes him bigger. It only weakens me. I mean, it's a chance that it strengthens me, but most of the time, like, people are going to use that to bring me down even more. So yeah, you most likely do get burnt because... She's going to be most likely hypergamous and just how she says she can't use you or just how she said, I don't want to use those channels because they can't get me popping like you can. Eventually, she's going to go to Joe Budden or eventually she's going to go to Charlemagne because they're bigger than you. But once she's capped out on you and she gets tired of you, then yeah, she's gone. And you may not have made your money back on her yet. So yeah, it's way more likely that you get hold than she ever will. You're taking all the risks. And whenever you take all the risks, whether it's business or in a relationship, you can say that's some behavior or not well thought out behavior. Academics are made man already. If a company say, well, we might take a look at Shorty for a deal if she roll up onto you because you a big dog over here. You ever heard that before? You a big dog. So when the big dog say, I fuck with that. They said, okay. They want the big dog. It sounds like Aggie be getting his head gassed up by these industries. They don't want... These little clowns thinking with a dick. I'm thinking business. And I, I can agree you thinking business, but, 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 loyalty, consistency, um... <laughs> Loyalty, consistency. I mean, it's so many different things that you could say that keeps uh, good businesses afloat and going and successful. You can be doing business. You could be about your money. But if you have character traits and habits that are, are counterproductive to business long term, like taking all of the risk 
or majority of the risk, that's not good good business behavior. Yeah, you can say you're an entrepreneur. Yeah, you can say you're a business. But let's see how long term that lasts if you keep making moves like that. Now I'm not. I don't want Act to go. I'm. I'm pretty sure. I don't think Act is going to sign a bunch of Britney Renner. She's one of a kind in the sense of she got big. It's not going to be a bunch of Britney Renner just popping off. Because I mean, it's not. It's, it's no reason for it. It's not a market for it. Honestly, she's just a one of a kind unicorn. So I, I, I get it. Use her. Use her. And you make him make her bigger than she ever even planned on being. And maybe you could be um, <laughs> the Dr. Dre of hoes. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe it's possible. Or maybe it can burn in flames. Who knows? I don't know either way. I, I, I hope X stays successful because he's a black man in this world, this confusing ass world. Um, so I don't really have any like negative or ill will things to say about him. But in this debate and conversation, like I said, um, he he showed a lot of uh behavior traits that I would call deplorable, or I would call not smart or well thought out. Besides, it's also being an emotional uh shaming rant, and no uh actual validity behind it. But even then, like I said, he told on himself. He he has interest with Brittany Renner and 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 her making it. Um, he 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 deems the shade room and TMZ more valuable than the the demographic or the um the fan bases of these uh, red pill communities. He, he, he said a lot in this rant. And if I was act, I mean, if I was fresh and fit or anyone like fresh and fit that uh, speaks um, that, that red pill, you know, culture, I would stay far away from act because he's not conducive to your community. He's literally a leech and um, he'll help. But once those ties are turn, he'll also open that gate to your destruction. That's why he's so dangerous. Because he'll play the he'll play the fence. He'll be on both sides until he sees that it's one way to go that's more um more popular. Whether it's negative or a positive message or not, he don't care. But it's more popular. And that's what makes act dangerous to a community that's trying to be truthful, uh, have credentials, uh uh I guess credentials or integrity, I should be saying. So for a community that's trying to maintain integrity and even calling out uh, negative red pill people uh, and self-checking other red pills, I, I see red, I see that happen in this community. They're, they're literally trying to build a credible community. Act is, Act is so far away from that and helping you uh, be, stay credible. It may help you gain a little more popularity, but it's almost like signing a deal with the devil. It's going to go wrong at some point. Now... If you're people like Brittany Renner or a black woman or someone that's productive to the shade room or, or that's like essentially the shade room or, or TMZ culture, it's a lot likely that Ack will sign you, help you get bigger, and he won't hold you. Because I don't really see another demographic that's going to be able to like just out shame or out like to, to really weaken the, that, that type of demographic anytime soon. The toxic femininity, that gossip shit, that shit's going to be around forever, really. There's always going to be space for that. Maybe it gets smaller uh, with, as more truth come out with, like, red pill and stuff like that. But I think that probably happened 10, 20, 30 years down the road. I don't think that happens tomorrow. So if you're if you, if you you looking to find someone to be in a business with, yeah, Ak would be the perfect person because that's who he, I mean, that's what he aligns with. You can, the, the biggest thing is important. Who do you, what, what's your alignments? When you're going in business or friendships or relationships, what are you aligned with? What are your deep beliefs on things? How do you really feel about stuff that I like or dislike? That'll help you get so much further in life. Because if you see a lot of things of how Act really feels about things and what he truly aligned with, a lot of those things are not um, red pill or manosphere. He's so snarky towards that community. And that's just what I realized in this in this this sample clip. People said he was drunk in the comments and stuff like that. Hey, a drunk soul or spirit speaks his mind. But besides that, he didn't say anything that was valid actually to like say that Rolo Tomasi was completely wrong. All he could say is I didn't set them up. But you can't argue that you might not have their best interest. So, and I think that was Rolo Tomasi's overall point. The setup thing is, yeah, that's questionable. He said, I think, but he knows for a fact that you don't have their best interest. 
And I know that's what he meant when he said that. Cause I, uh, I I watched a lot of this. Uh, I watched both. I watched this whole rant and I watched that before. Uh, I watched Rollo Tomasi's uh, thing before this even had came out. So that, that's how I feel about everything that's happened. Hopefully this gets to get posted. If not, I'm going to try to find another way to keep it up there. But um, I thank y'all for watching and subscribing. Y'all been making these views go crazy. I appreciate it, man. Keep on being real ones. Peace.